Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first YouTube video ever. My name is Natalie and I'm a small business owner here in Las Vegas. I make wire wrap jewelry and I've been doing so for about three years now. And for my first video, I wanted to start out with something super simple, super easy. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make these crystal rings here. In this stack, I have selenite, opalite, labradorite, rose quartz, and strawberry quartz. So I hope that I do a good enough job in this first video explaining how I make these and you guys can recreate them. So for the supplies that you guys will need, um, you will need wire, of course. Um, I use this brand, it's Wire Elements. For the rings, I have found it easiest to use 22 gauge. So here I've got gold wire, copper wire, and the silver colored wire. Then you will need a ring mandrel. Um, this is the one I use. I find this one to be a lot easier than the plastic one. Um, it's entirely up to you, whatever you're most comfortable with, but this is the one that I use. And then you will need the cutters and these like flat nose pliers. For the beads, um, I usually use six millimeter beads, which is this small one right now, but you can also use eight millimeter, which is just slightly bigger. It doesn't really matter, but it does change the amount of wire you're going to need to use. For this video though, I will be using the smaller one, the six millimeter bead. And this is a tiger's eye. So taking the gold colored wire here, um, everything that you cut is going to depend on the size that you need. So for today, I'm gonna to be making a size seven right here. And for a size seven, I usually cut about, let's say like seven inches. It might seem like a lot, but I have always preferred to have some left over than to be like done with the ring and I don't have enough wire to finish wrapping. So about seven inches of wire, right? You're gonna bring your bead to the middle like this. And then you're going to fold the sides here. To have this here. Like that. So like I said, we're going to be making a size 7 ring. But you're never going to want to put the ring right at the size that you're making it. So you're going to want to go one size bigger. And that's where you're going to want to start the whole process. Okay, so you're going to wrap it around one size bigger. Wrap the wires around to come on the other side. Like this. And then you're going to bring one side of the wire and go under the bead. I'm sorry for that noise, it's my sister with the vacuum. And then the other side, you're gonna go over the bead. Trying to keep it close to the bead. So it'll look like this. Now you're gonna slide the ring off. Okay, and then you can use your fingers or you can use your pliers depending on what you're most comfortable with. But you're gonna start wrapping these leftover wires and you're gonna go inside of the sides here. So I'll show you. You start wrapping around. I usually do two to three wraps on each side. So this would be two. And the wires are going to start looking a little wonky here, but it's fine. You're going to fix that more towards the end. So I've got two wraps on this side. 
turn around to the other side and do the same thing you could fix the wires as you go if you want another two wraps here and there is my second wrap so I've got two wraps on each side and then because you wrapped around the band it has made it smaller so once you put it back into the mandrel remember that you went one size bigger but you wrapped so it's going to land right on the seven there right there You take that off and then you just cut off the excess wire and another thing another tip so when you cut off the excess wire here cut off with the flat side instead of this side because if you cut off with this side let me show you cut off here with this side it leaves like a, a harsh end there whereas when you cut with the flat side it leaves a flat end so when you cut off right here cut off using the flat side and hold it it's another tip you're gonna hold the wire that's gonna just fly off because it might hit you in the face hit you in the eye Right. Cut off the other one using the flat side, holding, doesn't hit you in the eye. And then with the flat nose pliers, you're going to lay that down flat. I see that I have some sticking out here so just go back in cut that off put your finger on it and then always make sure that there is no sharp edge whoever wears it you know you don't want them to get hurt and that is it there's your ring very simple very easy and very pretty And that's it so here is all of the rings now thank you so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe like leave a comment i will definitely be back with more tutorials i make pendants and bracelets and earrings and i want to show you guys all of that so thank you so much bye